we can be fairly well confident about the dating based on the radiocarbon decay that goes all the way back to about 1400 BC. Now, once we get to 1400 BC, we have a problem. And this is noticed throughout the world of ancient Near Eastern historical studies. And that problem is that we have an offset. And what happens with this offset is, let's say, for example, that historically we know something should be dated to 1480 or 1500 BC. Mm -hmm. And it's abundantly clear in the historical record that you can't really fudge on that number very much. Right. Well, then the radiocarbon evidence is going to suggest that it dates to around 1600 instead. Hmm. And so we have this offset. There is a contradiction in the evidence. The historical evidence says one thing, and the radiocarbon evidence says another. And the variation there can be 100 to 120 years within that time period oh. just before 1400 BC. And it's very important to note that this offset increases in its gap between the historical and radiocarbon dating as you go back in time. In other words, if you go back another couple hundred years, the offset is more than 100 or 120 mm. years. It becomes mm. 200 to 250 mm. years. Mm. So it, it essentially is an exponential problem that exists in the radiocarbon evidence. And this essentially is causing a great division within scholarship of the ancient Near East. Oh. But now evidence has shown that this isn't just a local phenomenon, because before it was known and understood as having taken place in northern Egypt in ancient times. Now we see it throughout the ancient Near East, including the Levant and beyond. And other sites are giving us evidence demonstrating this offset. Oh. This presents a great challenge. I'm not sure that we can be 100% sure how to account for this.